Look at James. He appeared to James. James was anything, the brother of Jesus, anything but a friendly eyewitness. He thought his brother was a little kinky. Uh, he did. Come on. Claim to be raised from the dead, to be the Messiah, the Jewish Messiah. And James fought him on James was embarrassed. And yet, he ended up coming to Christ when he was confronted by his brother raised from the dead. And he became the leader of the Jerusalem church. He definitely, and then Saul of Tarsus, oh my gosh. Uh, not often I get to give my hour lecture just in the Saul of Tarsus. Like his father, he possessed Roman citizenship. And Paul said, last of all, as though I'd been born at the wrong time, I also saw him. The greatest heretic became the greatest believer. Turned from a murderer to a martyr. From a Christian prosecutor to a Christian missionary almost overnight. I was lecturing at the University of Houston. I was sitting in the cafe, cafeteria, and it was full, and I sat down across, and this fellow had this big book I read, and I said, I said, uh, what are you studying? He said, uh, Roman history. I said, you got a test coming up? I said, yeah. I said, oh, is there a chapter in there on solitary apostasy? He said, yes. I said, could I see it? This was incredible. I, if, I, if they had cell phones back then, I would have scanned it. Um, <laughs> But to start out with the life of Saul of Tarsus and the life of Paul, the Apostle Paul, and next to the last sentence said, we don't quite understand what happened in between. <laughs> I said to the fellow, could I show you what happened in between? And led him to Christ with a Roman history book and a chapter in the Apostle Paul. It's historical. It's evidential. And Paul was the one that got permission to go from city to city to incarcerate the Christians and cast his vote for their death. They feared. Remember when Jesus said to one of the disciples, go to the apostle Paul, place your hands on him and pray over him? And what did he say? No way. I know the reputation of that man. I'm not going to go there. Jesus said, look, you either go there or you're unemployed. And so he said he went there. Can you imagine what this guy, no, and he placed his hands on Paul. He was probably... He's shaking. And probably what removed the scales from Paul's eyes was he was shaking so much it shook him loose <laughs> when, when he wasn't anything supernatural. <laughs> but, but think of what he went through when he reached down, put his hands on Paul, and prayed for him. The greatest murder of the Christian faith of that time. You can say everyone he appeared to became eyewitnesses. But you cannot say historically they were all friendly eyewitnesses. Witnesses when he appeared to them. 